This short video shows how to properly position and secure the Nanon 8000 Q2 ear clip oximetry sensor. The 8000 Q2 sensor is designed for patients over 88 pounds or 40 kilograms where a finger style is impractical. This sensor clips on the earlobe. The ear clip sensor has an emitter that projects a tuned light wave pattern through the arterial blood flowing in the earlobe and a detector which receives that light. Properly placed, the emitter and detector should rest on each side at the center of the earlobe. The 8000 Q2 ear clip sensor is designed for use with a wide range of non-impulse oximeters. Remember, non-in sensors are designed for use with non-in brand pulse oximeters only. Do not use the sensor with other brand pulse oximeters which may provide inaccurate results. Remove any earrings and wash off any makeup and heavy lotions. Wash and dry the ear where the sensor will be placed. Vigorously rub the earlobe for 5 seconds to stimulate blood flow. Then, open the sensor and slide it onto the lobe, placing the emitter and detector elements completely onto the earlobe. The sensor should stay comfortably in place. Observe the site to ensure the detector and emitter are centered on the lobe with no ambient light entering the detector. Leaking light from a partial placement can cause inaccurate results. Now, you're ready to use the non-impulse oximeter to measure oxygen saturation and pulse rate. Non-impulse oximeters have a pulse signal quality display that measures the sensor signal. If the signal is low, the emitter and detector may not be in proper position. Reposition the sensor to see if a stronger signal can be obtained. If repositioning does not increase the signal quality, try the other ear or check that the patient's ear is warm and well perfused. To clean the sensor between patients, unplug the sensor from the oximeter. Wipe all patient contact surfaces of the sensor with a soft cloth dampened with a mild detergent or a 10% bleach solution. Then, wipe away from the plug on the cable toward the sensor. Do not use alcohol, caustic, or ammonium chloride-based cleaners or spray or immerse the sensor, which may damage the sensor elements. Allow the sensor to completely dry before the next application. You can find additional use information on this and other Nanan products at www.nanan.com.